Hey everybody, I just want to take a minute and kind of, um, show you guys how, and explain how, you know, the, the NES sound engine works. So, okay, let's minimize that. We're going to... Um, check some cool stuff out. Uh, I I'm going to show you how this whole process works. Alright, let's pick a game. Blaster Master Castlevania 2. We could do Castlevania. That'd be fun, right? Um, what would be a good... You know what? Let's do Mega Man 2, because I love this game, and the music is amazing. Okay. First of all, you go to sound, let's kill those channels, let's just do the triangle wave. I wish I had It'll be alright. So this is just the triangle wave. You know what? Let's start with this screen. Because this is a freaking awesome song. So we'll just run this. This song is freaking awesome. Alright, so this is the triangle wave. It's basically the bass line, kinda. Pretty jamming. Okay. Take the triangle wave down. This is how I usually do my videos. Let's take a look at square wave one. This is square wave one. Which, depending on the game publisher and how they program the sound effects into the game, some of them put the main melody on Square Wave 1. Konami, Konami typically puts it in Square Wave 2. Square Wave 1 ends up being a lot of the harmonies and background musical effects, you know, to kind of give songs a flourish. One of the Square Waves typically is the main melody, while the other one has everything else. All the backing and, and accents and stuff like that. So, this sounds typically like the main melody, which is pretty awesome. Let's take a look at Square Wave 2. Square Wave 2. 85, because for whatever reason, it defaults at 85. Okay, this is square wave 2. Okay, you can tell square wave, um, square wave 2, this one, has a bit of a delay. There's a pause before the the first run and then it just kind of hits the second part of it like it just kind of it's almost jarring how it that 
that's pretty typical when they set this channel up to have a delay effect. You see, they, they had no way of creating a reverb effect, so they would um, take like the harmony track or whatever, the one of the square waves, and they would place the music ever so slightly ahead of the original melody note to create this weird delay effect. Um, a lot of music, a lot of games implement this technique um, to create like a reverby, echoey effect on the music. Um, example, Kraid's Lair in the original Metroid. A lot of Mega Man songs do that. Even a lot of Castlevania songs. Um, it's it's a very common uh, technique. Like for example, um, let me bring both of these in and you'll hear it um there is almost like it makes it sound spacey and delayed hear it and then it creates like a harmony on the second part bring in this so here it is with the triangle wave which is kind of the baseline and none of the drum tracks tracks um okay what is the noise i want to see what each one of these does separately 85 please thank you okay those are the drums if i remember right i don't think the dcpm channel is used in this but it's 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 a channel for other noises and percussion stuff like that um but i don't believe capcom typically used it they just didn't. So, so here it is. This is a full mix. Yeah, it didn't really add anything. And you can play with the levels on this. Like, let's bring square wave down to about here and see. Notice. It doesn't even line up with the rhythm of the song because it's the echo effect. Let's bring that down and bring that back up. Bring that back. Uh, oh my gosh, 85, thank you. Let me make sure. Yes. That DCP on the channel doesn't do it. It doesn't have any information to it. Alright. So. Don't need it. Uh, let's take that out. Bring that down. Okay. I've been wanting to try this. I've been wanting to check out his music. I mean, this game, all the music in this is amazing. Interesting. So now we're gonna check this out. Interesting. This is one of my... The music in this game is so good. I love all of it. Let me just 
cranberry juice. I don't have a whole lot left, but... And it's gone. All gone. I love me some cran apple. Alright. Let's see what Square Wave 1 does. Again, this is the main melody. <coughs> I'm gonna plug this up. Yep. Okay, that's the one I use on my phone. I use this one. On here. Okay. <coughs> So yeah, this is the main melody. Let's see what the triangle wave does. Triangle wave. Probably a lot of percussion. Because the Mega Man games typically use the triangle wave as a thumping bass line that is very percussive. A lot of doo 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 noises and stuff like that in it. So let's see what it does. Okay. Notice how this is the basic rhythm of the song. This is the percussion of it right here. And that's pretty much all this is. But at the same time, it's the bass line, too. It's like someone with an acoustic guitar strumming out the, uh, the rhythm of the song. Like, in strums. Like... I don't know. The bass line carries the percussion. Alright, let's start bringing these up. Alright, this is the main... Let's just see what this sounds like for a minute, for a second. Because it's probably going to be off. Oh yeah, it's some of the percussive noises. Likewise, it's... The harmony. Okay, hold on. Let's see... This. This is a grooving tune, yo. Some of my favorite parts of these videos that I make are when I've just got the square waves going and nothing else. I just love how it sounds all by itself. I'm just kind of let it sit here and jam. And then I bring back the bass line. And then I bring in the drums. And it's like... I'm building, uh, like, the, the, what's going on with the music, I'm building it back up to its full kicking, rocking tunage or something. And I just, one of my favorite parts about these videos is how I kind of deconstruct it, and then I build it back up to full rocking you, your face off. Yeah, I okay. That didn't work. Anyway, you get what I mean. Build it, build it, build it back up. All right, so let's bring this back up. Thank you. 
I could just hit that and it'll kick it all back. I just love video game music. I've always loved video game music. <clears throat> okay. So let's reset. Let's do Metal Man. I don't think I've done. I don't know if I've looked at this one yet. Let's start off with. Oh, um, the baseline and nothing else. Conveyor belt. I'm gonna die. Oops, wrong button. Dang it. That sucked. We're grooving. Ooh, an energy tank. I'm gonna grab it. This is not very conducive to. sitting here and attempting to do the music for this level because there's so much movement. I could just stand here or I could get away from these things because they're going to interfere. Here we go. If I just stand here, those guys will go in front of me. They're not going to mess with me. So here, that's the baseline. Not terribly interesting, but you know, it serves its purpose in the song. Alright. Square Wave 1 is going to be the main melody. It's going to be exactly what we think it is. Yep, pretty much. Check out and see what okay, what's square wave two doing? Interesting. The harmony it creates. It's like jumping from octave to octave. Wow, cool. This is how they they work together. Eighty-five. Nice. Create that harmony. A little bit of an echo effect right there.
bass line, the triangle wave. think it would do. This is this is the main melody. this is doing ah this part there's that delay effect again it's been pushed ahead a little bit That's what that does. See what the triangle wave is doing all by itself. Alright. See them all together.
see. Let's look at another game. Uh huh. Well, let's see. What would be a fun game? What's got? What's a game with some really good music? Legacy of the Wizard. Even though it's kind of hard to get to all that music. You know what? Here's a game I've never bothered to look at. Let's see. Do we want to do Mega Man 5 or Mega Man 6? Let's. Let's look at Mega Man f 6. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is a really grooving Sonic Music song. Let's take that down. Let's look at the triangle wave. These later games seem a lot less inspired than like Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 like had all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So that's the baseline. Square Wave 1. You'd think later in the life of the NES, like, you know, by 1994 when this game came out, 93, whenever it was, that, like, they'd find ways to make it even more interesting and push the envelope even further, but they've, it's almost like they've settled into such a routine way of putting together music that, I don't know. I mean, the music's still freaking awesome, but, like, it doesn't seem to have as much going on. Let's see what Square Wave 2 is doing, because Square Wave 2 always seems to be the most... The, the Harmony one seems to always have the most interesting stuff going on. Interesting. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, what song should we check out first? Anybody with any ideas? Let's check out Tomahawk Man. Notice the sound effects are in Square Wave 2. Alright, let's bring these together and let's see what it's doing. Very interesting. Still rocking. This song is freaking awesome. Ooh, Centaur Man. That's another one of my favorite songs. Alright. Alright. What's the triangle way of doing?
exactly what I thought. Okay, what is Square Wave 2 doing? said earlier about the later games being a little more lazy about the way they put together music. Take it back. Because that was cool. Put them together. riding kind of rhythm. I always love songs. If they've got that kind of rhythm, it's probably a really good song. Triangle Wave does. 
Wow. Yay, Mega Man! Jump! 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 Okay. Square Wave 1 is the main melody. For those of you who don't know the melody, it goes like this. Harmony. This song is a lot shorter than I thought. Okay. Delayed effect. It's got that delay effect on it. Let's do them together. See the delay effect? Baseline, triangle wave. So that's pretty much how it works, and I love video game music, so I have fun making videos like this. Alright, you guys. Peace out. I'll catch you later.